Hello, everybody. How's everyone? And here we go. Go. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome aboard. Let's open uh, beer number one. Rickards White. So this is going to be my beer for today. Rickards White. Special live show today. We're going to take a look and unbox this beautiful receiver. So this is the Texan PL990X. This is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun to look at. And I have managed to, and if my wire is still here, and it still seems to be here, hook up a uh, cable to my W6LVP loop antenna, which means I'll be able to plug it in and uh, we'll be tuning around with it. I will still turn on the SDR here. And here we go. Play. Let's try six oh seven L. CFRX is here on six oh seven L. So it's going to be a fun, fun little day. So, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So welcome aboard. This is the shortwave show, the live shortwave show. We are here twice a week on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, zero hours universal time. We are also here on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern. That's 20 hours universal time. And we are here to entertain. We are here to have fun with radio. And hope that you have fun with us also listening to your radio and checking out what's on the radio. It's uh, really a privilege to be here and have you guys as an audience. So let's have the first sip here. Cheers, everybody. So um, this is a show about radio. My name is Gilles. I'm located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And we uh, typically have fun uh, tuning the bands, talking about radio, answering questions. Just a nice bunch of people enjoying our hobby of radio. And it's, uh, you know, the best place if you are new to the hobby, if maybe you uh, don't know where to start. You know what? This is the place where you can learn to, from all of this and, and how to, you know, get into the hobby and uh, the different aspects of our hobby. 
And, uh, you know, there are a bunch of nice people here that will answer your questions. What to buy? What's the radio you would like, you know, would, would be a good radio? And it uh, is surprising today how you can get into the hobby in, uh, with, with a very low price, honestly. Um, it's, you know, um, there, there weren't any $50 radios with digital readout in 1982 when I started a... Um, Decent radio with digital readout back then was above $200, $250, $300, which when you think about it, you know, a $300 receiver in 1982 is probably something like a five or $600 receiver today. So they were expensive. Radio was expensive. It's an, it was an expensive hobby. You had to choose. Um, and today, uh, thanks to, you know, thanks, of course, to a lot of the Chinese manufacturing, but thanks to all of this, that the prices has gone down and there's some really good offering, really good devices, really good radios for, you know, uh, a price that, that uh, 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 most people can afford. You know, I was about to use the word everybody can afford, but um, you can't use that word because obviously there are people that even $50 is a huge amount of money. And we got to understand that uh, some are, you know, better off than others. And that's the world we live in. But um, I think it's never been so easy to get to the hobby and to, uh, a, a, you know, a price range that is decent enough for most people. So uh, today, you guys can't wait, but um, I decided that I will not unbox it. I will just keep it in like this for uh, next week. <laughs> joking. Um, Bobby Burgess, nice to have you here. WA5107 SWL, Morgan City, Louisiana, USA. Tom DXer, WPE2QED, nice to have you here. Lowood, Hudson Valley, New York. Shady Pyro90 from British Columbia, Canada. Uh, Echidarius from uh, Texas, nice to have you here. Rob, nice to have you on board from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Scott Cranston, nice to have you here. Scott from Massachusetts, 45 unit. Nice to have you here from Central East Central Florida. Uh, Matt, nice to have you on board from Denver. We're going to have, uh, or we're, we're going to actually hit 80s uh, this weekend. We're supposed to have weather in the lower 80s. Tomorrow and uh, Sunday is going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm going to put it this way. It's going to be, uh, Let's use the Texan PL990X outside. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Uh, Kevin, nice to have you here. WS2H. Joe, nice to have you on board uh, from Chicago. Jeff Williams, nice to have you here from, uh, I believe, uh, Cornwall, UK. Benny Charbonnier, nice to have you on board from the Netherlands. Rick Amendot, nice to have you here from Romania. Branson, nice to have you on board from the Czech Republic. Rudolf Smith, nice to have you here. Arjun, nice to have you here from the island of Cyprus. Eric Cottrell, nice to have you here from Massachusetts. Sheldon Harvey, from Greenfield Park, Quebec. We've just finished recording the International Radio Report Show, and I send it in about half an hour ago. For you guys to enjoy this coming Sunday, 1430 UTC on CKUT 90.3 FM in Montreal or CKUT.ca for the live stream. And you can listen to the archives, CKUT.ca, and you'll see that there's a show called the International Radio Report uh, on Sunday at uh, 1030 a.m. local Eastern Time, 1430 UTC. Ryer Smoke, nice to have you on board, Jim, KW6JFD. Uh, Joe, nice to have you here from uh, Shenandoah Valley. What else do we have? Matam Valley from sunny Colorado, nice to have you here. NL13851 from the Netherlands. Jerry DX, nice to have you on board. 
from Oregon. Uh, Keisha Scape, nice to have you here. Denis Allard, bonjour et bienvenue. Nice to have you on board. Um, what else? Uh, what else? Sokalf, nice to have you here from San Diego. We have Keegan, nice to have you here. XNEDXer from Northwest Arkansas. Keisha Escape drinking cranberry juice. Cool. Killer Cobra. You got the H501. Haven't opened it yet. What are you waiting for? OSR. Nice to have you here from North Texas. Electric Rider. Nice to have you here. Eyebrowler from Arkansas. We have WF7I Umbrew. Nice to have you on board from Virginia. Neil Toombs, nice to have you here. M0CJM from uh, the UK. Just connected up my brand new Wellbrook Loop today. Cool. Have fun. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, John Wayne, nice to have you here from Germany. Scott, are there NF logos on the front? I think there's quite a few. <laughs> we want to make sure we understand there's a lot of stuff in there. Jason Francis, nice to have you here from Ottawa. Dax Flower 74, nice to have you here. Um, Asan 83, I want to buy the best shortwave digital radio. With white or green LED lights, what do you recommend? Um, for a portable radio, um, XH Data D eight hundred eight has a white background light. If you're looking absolutely for uh, white or green, Canadian Radio TV guy, nice to have you here. We have. Let's go down. I know you guys are patiently waiting for me to open this box and show you the radio. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, really? They uh, decided to do the antique radio show in New Hampshire tomorrow, even with COVID. Man. Bike DXer, nice to have you here. Esteban, nice to have you on board from the Canary Islands. Oh, congratulations, Bike DXer, for your PL880. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Better make sure it's not a, a brick in there. <laughs> uh, Kevin Wood from Nova Scotia, Canada. VE3KRP, Fast Eddie, nice to have you here in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Oh, PL680, well, it's a great radio. I got mine here, actually, just next to the uh, the other Texan, because I wanted to uh, compare the size and the weight. So, um, yeah, the 680, they kind of recycled the PL600 um, casing almost. William Helms, nice to have you here from Florida. So, um, I ordered the uh, receiver on Saturday night and I got it yesterday, Thursday. So, it got shipped Monday from uh, Hong Kong. And um, funny anecdote with the shipping details. Um, you know, COVID and the city of Wuhan um, kind of go hand in hand now. So I um, look at the de details of the shipping and it goes from Hong Kong. And it um, stopped in Taiwan. But I didn't see the Taiwan at first. And it said, oh, the radio is now in Wuhan. It's like, 
Oh, wow, it's in COVID city. <laughs> then I saw Taiwan. Oh, okay. It's not the same Yuhan. It's not the one in China. It's the one in Taiwan. Okay. Different. Different place. Uh, what else do we have? Matt, two three hundred dollars in the eighties, more like a thousand dollars today. Yeah, it's you know at least doubled, if, if not triple the price, uh, for sure. Handy Hunter, nice to have you on board. You'll know all the good details of the nine ninety in a few seconds, or a few minutes. Um. What else do we have? Nick Amendo, $300 in 1980 is worth 946 and 30 today. So imagine that. That means that my $100 DX100 is roughly worth 300 and some dollars today in, in if you compare the price. Crazy. This is crazy. That's cool, John Wayne. Pretty much how, uh, pretty much how it happened um, with me too, with the uh, the radio. What do you mean, Daniel? I'll stop teasing. Look, look, it's here. Look at that. Look at the box. Nice box. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the audience. <laughs> Jeff KD5 QDO, nice to have you here from Texas. KSH 5264 from Rebel City, North Carolina. Uh, Han Freeland, Gina, nice to have you here from uh, Fort Gordon, Georgia. Uh, Danny A, nice to have you here from Columbia. HK4DAH. Jerry Agnew from Northern Ireland, nice to have you here. Tristan, nice to have you all on board from Western Newfoundland. Dr. Sisop, my 990 made uh, 820 using external antenna on long wave. I can hear AM station mixing in sometimes. So uh, we're going to talk about uh, that because uh, I did I did peak. You guys understand why. Understand the times, KC8KSK. Nice to have you on board from uh, South Carolina, Tom. What else do we have? Newscape Channel. Nice to have you on board from Marconi Marconi's main UK location. Cool. What else? Paul Walker. Nice to have you on board. And uh, doing some work in the office. Rich, nice to have you here from North Carolina. DH, nice to have you here from Germany. KJ Walda, nice to have you here from the Netherlands. Levy Nathan, nice to have you on board from Israel. Ottawa Hinta, I have the Texan PL880. Is the 990X the next generation of radio? The spelling threw me off. Uh, well, it's a Texan. I uh, the title. I I made a mistake in the title, so it's a Texan also. It's really a. Uh, he, I I noticed after, but I can't change it while I'm doing the live show. So once the live show will be recorded on the t on the channel, I'll go and edit the title name. Uh, Rich Hill from Syracuse, New York. Nice to have you here, and uh, nice to have you here, Atawa Hinta. It's, uh, we're going to talk about it. The, the 990, I, I've read a lot of stuff last night on the 990. And, uh, and, and you, you'll be able to, uh, to, to see exactly what it's all about. And uh, it is somewhat related to the uh, 880, um, uh, for sure. So, um, that's going to be, uh, You should escape. Do one last outdoor balcony show on the backside with a barbecue. <laughs> it's a question of uh, making it difficult for me to um, actually connect 
for the live stream uh, because um, I would have done a live show from outside for sure. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Let's go down. Esteban, about the radio hobby and it costs, you can even explore the possibility of receiving FM stations that are normally beyond your local DX and Canary Islands. Try to get FM signals from West Africa. Absolutely. Rogerio, Ro, Rogerio Rocha, nice to have you here from the Azores. Crazy Jane, nice to have you here from the UK. Ricardo Silva, nice to have you on board from Portugal. Uh, Graham Hulf. Graham Huff, nice to have you on board from the UK. Thank you very much for the nice comments. Joaquin Tejada, nice to have you on board. Hola, como esta? Donde España? Uh, what else do we have? Um, what else do we have? G. Lee, nice to have you here from Fresno, California, WA6120 SWL. Eric Cottrell, the radio show tomorrow is mask required and limited at 50% capacity. Well, take care if you go because, uh, you know, close spaces are not the best place for, uh, for something like that. Uh, Eugenio Pinedo, nice to have you here from Colombia. Joshua Cauldron, nice to have you here. KCWE13, international shortwave listener in games. Um, Charles Williams, missed the first 15 minutes. Greetings from San Diego. That should be a great radio. Christy Freitas, nice to have you here from Nashville, Tennessee. Atambali, finding a couple of old military, military Sulpice radios in the 70s really offset the usual price performance curve. The best one, a Stromberg Carlson shortwave receiver, $16. Wow, that's cool. David, KJ4CMY, nice to have you on board drinking raspberry lemonade. That sounds very refreshing when it's hot. <laughs> yeah, personally, it's my second opening. I did open it yesterday. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. But I wanted to try it out, and I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to... Uh, to uh, to try it out. Yeah, I know. I messed up the date to uh, live, too. You know why I mess up the date sometimes on the Fridays? Because I do the live... Sh I do the uh, recording of the International Radio Report, which is always on the Sunday, and Sunday is the 27th. So in my mind, I was on the 27th, when today, in reality, is the 25th. Anyways, I have to fix the title. I'll fix the date at the same time. Redelva 65 from New York City. Um, we have... Um, Eric Cottrell, have a bad X meeting tonight at 8 p.m. It is mainly via Zoom. But I attend in person is a good, it is good to get out. Oh, absolutely. That I totally understand. It is really good to get out. I think that Texan PL990X is going to uh, attract a lot of people. We are at 202 viewers right now live, which is close to the uh, maximum. I think we're 217 is the highest we ever touched. So let's see if we peak even higher than that. Uh, tonight, thanks to the Texan PL 990. Uh, Mark Parkus, nice to have you here from Ireland. What else do we have? No, well, not going to come down in price, Dr. Sissop. The Texans never do. They're always at the range. They, get, they come out of the price and they never, never come down. I've never seen a Texan come down in price. Um, usually it, they usually even go the other way around if they do, hopefully, but, um, not sure they will. Um, what else do we have? Steve King. Nice to have you here. Life two is in Moscow, Russia. Welcome aboard. My friend CX 0012 
from Uruguay. Nice to have you on board. Eric is waiting for the ICOM AC705 to arrive in the US. Cool. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm a very international crowd tonight. Absolutely. That's uh that's for sure. Um I still have a live reaction, <laughs> if it's a brick. <laughs> Al Mason, nice to have you on board. That's it. Wanted to open it up to charge a battery. <laughs> so, yes, this show is actually from the future. It's an experiment I'm trying. <laughs> I don't live in the same world as you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Canadian radio TV guy, you got to open, <laughs> reopen, and re reopen. <laughs> you got to open it already. So, uh, hello, everybody. CT1 ETE, nice to have you here, my friend. So, I'm going to pause now that I'm down and we're going to, we're going to open, we're going to open the box. So, what do we have in this box? Starts with manual and some kind of uh, radio chart in the back. So there's a manual and there's a radio chart that we'll be looking at. We have a nice casing, a nice case with something in it. I don't know what. Something's in here. And at the bottom is accessories. So those are a uh, reel-in, Texan reel-in antenna. So I'm going to open that. There we go. So this is the Texan AN03L compact shortwave antenna. So it's a reel-in antenna, actually. It comes with the charger with two USB ports. That's nice, like be able to charge two radios at the same time. My XH data and the Texan. Pretty heavy for a small uh, power supply. We have, we have, we have, if I can open it. A USB, USB charging cable. And I believe it also has the functionality of, uh, you can output the audio to the radio from a computer, for example. It comes with a pair of earbuds. Apparently they're surprising quality. So nice little earbuds. And they have extra cushions. So this is nice because we tend to lose these cushions over time. And it comes with two Texan 18650 lithium ion batteries that are rated at, I don't know, because I can't see it. It's at 2000. Something like two thousand something milliamp hour. I can't. Uh, I can't read it. So two of them. They're pretty heavy. They're heavier than those that I have here. So these must be quite good quality for the. When I look at how heavy they are, these are really good quality uh, lithium ion batteries that come with this radio. So two of them because it uses eighteen six fifty batteries. So let me put the box here. Then, la pièce de résistance, we have in here, nice little case, actually, a nice uh, protective case, and uh, it's going to be nice to, uh, to, to put that in here. So, of course, the radio, 
And this is the Texan PL 990X. This is a pretty nice little radio. A little stand in the back to put it at an angle on the table. Let's put a battery in here. So I actually am going to use some that I know are charged. I'll charge the Texan one later, so I'll choose. I have one uh, cheap Chinese made one here that I'll pop in, which means that now my display is on. And I will, um, so I'll let you in on the little secret, is that I have used it all evening last night. And I used it in different ways, and I used it because I wanted to be able to give you my first impression of it uh, at the same time, and uh, see if I'm happy or not. So, in the instruction booklet, there's this. It is actually very nice. It looks like you know a lot of amateur radio equipment come with the uh, with these. Uh, so look at that. So you got a big chart for the radio. That's nice. And on the other side, you actually have a world map. So this is cool. And it's an amateur radio map. So it actually gives you the call letters, uh, the prefix of the different countries around the world. So here in the US, in Canada, for example, it says VE2, VE3, VE4. This is kind of cool and it's uh, nice, um, quite uh, thick. Uh, piece of paper here. So this is nice. This is nice. And you've got the quick start guide on this. Look at that. This is really nice. And a little manual that is in English. So um, 30 pages. It's actually uh, one of the biggest manuals I've seen for a portable radio, 30 pages. So that's what's in here. And before I turn it on, I'm just gonna go down the, uh, go down the, uh, once again, to make sure that I, uh, have everybody here. Jeff King, nice to have you here. Uh, what else do we have? I'm a time lord. <laughs> 248 watching right now, and I'm going to start and turn on this radio, which is absolutely beautiful. I got to say, feels quality, honestly, when you actually use it. Even the buttons feel quality, and I have a lot to... Uh, a lot to say about it after using it for about eight hours yesterday. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty big box. I can tell you that. Um, Art Butcher, nice to have you here, Gisima. Nice to have you on board. So uh, that's going to be interesting when the PL three thirty also gets out. Uh, that one looks to be not too. Um, not too uh, expensive. Victor Osorio, exciting times. Uh, Matt says, nice. Looks like the same kind of real antenna to the same GNT ANT60. That's a step up from the included real antenna that the uh, PL600 came with. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. The you know what the USB charger is heavy is compared to a lot of other chargers. Um, it 
it's, it looks more quality than a lot of the chargers that I've seen. It has some weight in it, so there's some circuit in there. Um, Alney Sam says uh, another intervention day. Okay. So, yep, there is uh, hidden Bluetooth. There's a lot. There's some hidden functionalities uh, in it. Yeah, those batteries are 18650. So they are lithium-ion batteries that are... Um, I'm going to put them. put them somewhere so they don't fall, but they don't, oh, they're in the box probably, yeah. They are uh, standard in a lot of radios today. Those 18650 are... Uh, um, Really, really popular in a lot of radios today. Uh, I can tell you that. Very heavy batteries. Uh, so, you know, usually heavy batteries means pretty quality, pretty good quality batteries. Uh, so it's like the um, it's like the XH Data D808 also uses an 18650, the same battery as this one. I wouldn't be surprised they are protected batteries life too because they are heavy. They seem to be high quality, um, really high quality. Everything feels quality, actually. Even that charger feels pretty surprising. It's very heavy for a little square like this. You know, even the Apple block weighs nothing compared to this thing. So um, everything feels and gives a feel of quality, actually. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, what? So this radio is uh, on Anonco, has the best price, $235. So it's $235 US dollars. So it is thicker than a uh, uh, most Texan receivers that I have. Uh, definitely is th thicker. And uh, look at that here. There's the... Uh, SD card slot, micro SD card slot uh, for a memory card. And uh, it already comes with the uh, memory card inserted. A little 16 gigabyte micro SD card is in here already. So this is for playback uh, of uh, maybe there's some Chinese lessons on it. <laughs> So, yeah, it is thick. It is heavy for a portable. Um, yeah, only requires one Eric control, but it comes with two batteries in the box. So um, that's what I have here. They really come with two batteries. Maybe they're expecting the radio to take a lot more power or something. But uh, the 990 is beautiful. It's a little squarish, but it's a very beautiful radio, honestly. Look at that. This is absolutely beautiful. So nice poster to hang on the wall, absolutely. Yep, 200, uh, we're in 260 now watching. I do love the chart. I find it quite interesting. I'll be looking at the, uh, the technical side of it, explain, explaining all of it. <laughs> Crazy Jane's getting one just for the map. <laughs> it is very cool. It's a very nice uh, addition, I, I, I think. So it's really, really nice. Um, what else do we have? Glenn Zekman, nice to have you on board. Dan V, nice to have you here. Nice to have you here. Log 2112, nice to have you on board. Chris, yeah, but don't worry, you're not you missed the unboxing, but you'll uh, you know, I'll 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 re I'll show the the stuff that comes with it again a little later for those that were not there at the beginning. We'll uh we'll look at what came with it. Um quite a few little things that are nice. Um what else do we have? What else do we have? 
Yeah, I don't know because honestly, I'm surprised at the, uh, how heavy it is for a little block. I, I've never had a um, USB charger like this that weighs so much. And it's not that big, actually. Uh, bike DX RPL 880 I bought some years ago via Anonco. Also came with two batteries plus a 3.4 amp charger. Yeah, maybe it's the same type of charger. That thing probably can give a lot of, uh, of power. Bob, nice to have you on board from Mineral Ridge, Ohio. Thank you very much for the 990X. I want to thank you guys also because uh, thanks to your donations, uh, thanks to the donations, you, you helped me purchase one. And um, oh, don't worry, William Helms. I never use, this is for charging only. I never use the radios on any power supply ever, ever. So, um, I'll use the micro SD card and, and, and fill it up. I'll fit up the micro SD card with, um, hours and hours of fire drake. <laughs> uh, you see, no, it cannot record from the radio. Unfortunately, that, uh, is something that would have been nice if they added that capability. Uh, it's really for playback. And there's some speculation that the micro SD card uh, is also a possibility to use to upgrade maybe the internal firmware of the receiver. Chassis is uh, plastic. Chassis is really plastic. What else do we have? So Jeff King, uh, case and charts, same coming from the with the PL880. Cool. Joe Tyson, nice to have you here from North Carolina. So we're going to get to the features now. So I used it, like I said, for about eight hours yesterday. And um, we uh, it 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 uh, I've I've had a lot of fun, first of all. A lot of fun. So um uh, Kish escape the uh, I uh, so the total amount of donations that I got last week for the receiver is two hundred and sixty dollars, and overall the radio cost me um, that's Canadian dollars by the way. Um, overall, the radio in Canadian dollars cost me about three hundred and seventy. So uh, I I shed about one hundred and ten dollars from my own pocket. Uh, into the radio, but still, it's a lot of money. I mean, it's Canadian, three hundred and seventy dollars Canadian. Now let's let's add one thing fair here. I did pay thirty eight dollars for expedited shipping to make sure it comes here as fast as possible. But um, it's uh, it's um, it you know in reality, I'm, I'm on one hundred and ten dollars for me, so it's pretty pretty cool. Uh, Anthony, I do like uh, what is, what's running here is uh, SDR Uno because I have a RSPDX from SDR Play. I have to say, um, it's pretty much my favorite SDR software right now. Uh, Crazy Jane, hopefully, it'll be available on Amazon UK in the near future. May make it easier to return if there's issues. Yeah, and Onco isn't too bad on the return stuff, but it's not always easy. When you're buying, um, of course, um, from you know another country and stuff. Uh, Sergeant Rock, uh, great PL nine ninety, as you mentioned in a recent international radar report, uh, CKUT. Uh, Tony from uh, Bolton, UK, nice to have you here. And what else do we have? What else do we have? Do you have it? Uh, where's the manufacturing date? Inside the battery case? I don't, uh, I don't see nothing here. I'll try to find that information if I can. Do -do 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 -do. 
Screw. Yes, I know. Oh, antenna screw. Okay. This is nice. Each screw is actually defined as to what it is. That's nice. They took some extra steps on this one. Uh, 45 unit quick start guide with the map can be downloaded from the texanradio.com website. So, yeah, probably. You know, even the manual, I would guess, uh, for sure. For sure. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, well, probably they heard my rant. <laughs> Rich, my PayPal address. Anybody that wants to donate, it's... Uh, I'm sharing it here, so if anybody wants to... Uh, what I'll do with that money is I'll always, um, always put it towards radios. So um, I'll leave it in there if a radio or radio accessory that I need. Uh, I'll use that uh, for radio accessories. Uh, so PayPal is the way to donate. And uh, thank you very much, uh, KSH5264. Uh, huh, that's that's a, a great question that I was wondering, Ricardo Silva. So I'm going to stop a little bit here, continue to chat a little bit more. Okay, first let's turn it on. And my first stop when I turn on a portable receiver is I uh, it always turns on on FM when you put batteries in it for the first time. One of the things that I first want to do is, of course, I'll check, does the radio easily get VPR, that Vermont Public Radio Station, out of Burlington, Vermont, okay? So it's not even fully extended. Human connection needed to get through this pandemic. Eleanor Beardsley, NPR News, Paris. There's a lot of bass in the speaker. You're listening to All Things Considered from NPR News. You're hearing All Things Considered here on VPR, where support comes from our listeners and from Good News Garage, a Vermont nonprofit. So that's 107.9 here locally. So that's the first surprise, the first thing. Uh, does it get it or not? Because it immediately immediately tells me a minimum of quality of the FM reception. It comes in, look, I barely opened it, and it comes in crystal clear without even having any noise. So FM from this is at least um, a, a minimum of quality. Now, I can't speak upon, is it a FM DX machine? I haven't tried it enough for that yet. But it definitely receives well on FM. Um, I'll put it on shortwave. Here we go. And the first thing that I checked is when you tune, does it mute or not? Well, it does not mute. Look at that, guys. This thing does not mute on shortwave. So if you are looking for a radio, a modern radio that does not mute when tuning, this does not mute when tuning. And the reason why is this is a hybrid. So they tell you that this is a analog RF and IF receiver with DSP demodulation. That means there's no muting because part of the circuitry is analog PLL receiver. But they mixed in also a DSP. And it shows because, for example, if you want to go to sideband, like all DSP receivers, it has to kind of send the firmware, and you'll see that it takes a second to do so. And here we go. There you are. So it has to load a certain firmware in order to get to the USB uh, lower sideband. But I think anybody that's looking for a modern radio that doesn't mute, well, this does not mute. And that is the first good thing that, um, that I found. So 
I was happy. It gets my FM local NPR station from Vermont, which is, you know, more than a hundred miles away from here. And second good surprise, no muting when you tune around. I was extremely happy for that also. Yeah, I believe there's a way to check the firmware, but I haven't gone to that yet. I just tuned around right now with it. Uh, Esteban, is it possible that USB adapter comes with a transformer and thus weights? Um, it's possible, but it's still very small. And to give a lot of power, this would still be kind of small. Uh, but uh, with the weight that it has, it definitely has some transformer in it for sure. Uh, Garrett McClure, no, it's not available. It's available on Anonco only, pretty much. And uh, be careful not, um, be careful not to um, um, buy a 990 anywhere because um, a lot of them are first um, generation. Hey, Sicko Radio, nice to have you on board. Thank you very much. And thank you for the emails with the uh, pictures, by the way. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, I love the tuning knobs. I love the buttons. There's one nice thing about it. So there's the display. There's an on-off switch. So you turn it on, display stays on all the time. That I love. And they had it something that's nice. I don't know in the camera if we could see it. Yeah, we could. Here, do you see that little lighted dot? They added that little lighted dot to have you in darkness find where is the five or the middle of the keypad numbers. And at first I was like, oh, kind of nice. Will it really help? Well, last night in almost total darkness, I was punching frequency super easily because thanks to that little lighted dot, I knew where the five was. So I knew where to punch in the different numbers for the frequency. So that's a nice little ad. The buttons feel super quality. Um, it really, really, I tell you, this thing feels like top quality. Another really cool thing about this, the antenna, has a switch. You switch down, uses external antenna that you plug in through the 3.5 millimeter jack. You switch up, you're back using telescopic or whatever antenna. What is cool is that when you switch it off, even long wave and medium wave use your external antenna. For medium wave DXers, this actually could be a very interesting thing. So when you switch off, you even use the external antenna for medium wave and long wave. That could be a, a game changer for a lot of people. Uh, so what else do we have? <clears throat> what else do we have? Let me just go down here. Yeah, but not all, uh, you got to be careful with the credit card because they don't all do it and are not all uh, doing it easily uh, and, and giving you back your money on the credit cards. So, well, I'll have videos this week, uh, Chris. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll compare the ATS909X and the 990X and the XH data. And yes, that audio was amazingly good. It has a lot of bass response. It is pretty nice uh, sounding receiver. Uh, the audio is really good. I am. Um, I would say it's one of the. So, just to compare the size. So we were talking about thickness. PL. 990X compared to the thickness of a Texan PL680. So it is thicker. And I think one of the reasons why it is thicker mostly is because of the speaker that they actually put in. 
it has very rich uh, response to it. And the audio is actually very nice. Looking at a lot of videos yesterday, a couple of videos were mentioning they were listening to it compared to the 880. Some were saying that the 880 sound was a little better. So it's possible that the PL880 sound is a little better. But um, this sound is great. I love the sound. It's crisp. It's beautiful, rich, powerful. You can put that volume and crank it up. Even in a noisy environment, you will hear. Uh, you will hear what you have on that radio. So that's also something very, very cool uh, for this. Kish Escape, powerful sound too. Yep. Absolutely, very powerful. Uh, I haven't looked at all these, these settings, uh, uh, Life 2, um, yet. Uh, one of the things that I will be looking at, because when you tune on single sideband, um, it's also one of the interesting aspects is that it's extremely precise. So most radios that I purchased lately, uh, so this one is, you know, it's, it's off by one kilohertz, but it's, uh, it's precise, still precise. Uh, when you tune a signal in sideband. So one of the problems that I have with uh, XH data D808, uh, that is the same problem on the uh, C-Crane, CC Skywave SSB. That is the same problem on the Ethon Executive Satellite SSB. Um, one of the biggest issues I have with those radios is that when you tune single sideband signals, upper, lower sideband. There's a fine tuning button to bring the voice to the level you want to hear, the tone, the correct tone. One of the problems with those other radios is that it's uneven. So for example, if I listen to 6604 Gander uh, Newfoundland weather, my fine tuning could be at minus 21. I would have expected that if I tune another frequency with a single sideband signal that is on frequency, that that minus 21 would have been the same. It's not. You've got to fine tune again. So if I tune 6604 upper sideband, my fine tune might be at minus 21. Uh, 10051, the, the fine tune might be at you know plus 10. It's never the same, which tells me that every time I tune a frequency, the precision of that tuning isn't always exactly at the same place. This radio, when I tune, and that's where I will be looking at the, because uh, there's a, uh, a menu inside where you can actually uh, adjust the frequency calibration. When I tune right now, so if I go on upper sideband, for example, you notice that there are added two little uh, zeros next to the frequency. And the fine tune lets me tune those uh, up to the tenth of uh, a hertz. Now, right now, to tune correctly a signal in sideband, I have to leave it at zero 08 which means I'll be using the frequency calibration option to bring it at zero, zero. Now, the good thing about this is I told you the other radios, every frequency, you have to retune re re the offset or the, the fine tuning. Well, this one, whatever I tune to, when it's dot on frequency, it's always at zero, eight right now. So when I'm at zero, eight, I'm zero beat with anything in single sideband and utility stations that is right on frequency makes it easier to actually tune correctly a single sideband signal because it is much more precise in its single sideband tuning. And that, once again, is a very positive option for the radio. The fact that it's off right now by um, about 80 hertz, like I said, is not a problem. Because I'll go in the menu and I will do a frequency calibration to bring it down to zero beat at zero zero. So uh, you can actually correct that error right now. 
it's a small error, honestly, 80 hertz. But, you know, it's enough to make the sound of the voice a little different. Or music, especially music. Anything that has music and single sideband, you have to be dot on or forget it. But it is extremely preci precise. It is always exactly at the same level off everywhere. So it tells me that when I put it at zero beat, I'll have zero beat on all the range of frequencies. So that's also something really cool. Uh, I didn't test a lot the medium wave and the long wave, but I can tell you that medium wave, it was receiving everything I, I usually listen to. Last night I was listening to WCBS 880 to, um, what was it, WABC 770, uh, 1010, CFRB Toronto, 1130 uh, from New York, uh, the Bloomberg station. And, uh, and so on. It, it came in crystal clear, was really, really good with the internal in, uh, ferrite inside it. Long wave, I'm getting the non-directional beacons, standard non-directional beacons. So if I go to, uh, to long wave, I don't know here, I'm a little, uh, right now it's a little uh, noisy in this place. We'll try with the... Uh, so I can't really get it right now because there's too much noise around me. We'll try with the, uh, we'll try with the external antenna. Oh, wait, yeah, we'll try with the external antenna. Uh, but I did get most uh, all the non-directional beacons I hear usually. I even heard one that I didn't hear for a long time, 260 kilohertz. Uh, so it seems to perform well. Uh, once again, this isn't a test because I have not tested it really enough to know if it's actually a DX machine for uh, both the long wave and the medium wave uh, spectrum. My experience of the shortwave band listening last night, I mixed in a lot of signals from, I was listening to utility signals. I was listening to amateur radio operators. I heard a ham from France, a ham from Spain, uh, one from Sweden. I heard uh, many utility stations from Europe and North America. I listened to Radio Romania, Voice of Turkey. I listened to uh, WRMI uh, 9955 was coming in surprisingly well last night. Uh, I was listening to AWR WaveScan. I listened to uh, 5850, listened to uh, Voice of the Report of the Week. I was tuning it and tuning this at the same time. And I can say just one thing, it performs very well on shortwave. Once again, we'll have to compare it with other radios. But I can tell you that whatever I got here, I got on that radio using the same antenna or the W6LVP loop, because that one has a loop also, to kind of compare the signal strength. This is really, truly an amazing radio right now. I can see this being the top of the line of all my portables right now if my tests continue and continue to, to kind of wow me. Uh, I get it why this is more expensive. And I am, after only eight hours of tuning, I am already in love with the Texan PL 990X. So uh, that's what I'll say here. It is truly an amazing radio. And we're going to tune shortwave with it and compare with the uh, SDR also at the same time in, in a few minutes. I'm just going to go down and continue now the, uh, the uh, chat room a little bit. Remote radio DX, man. That was one thing that I wanted to say. Uh, no RDS, unfortunately. No radio data system on this radio, it would have been nice to have that functionality, especially with that big display. It would have been kind of cool to have that. Unfortunately, no RDS on this radio. Well, RDS isn't pointless necessarily, Kaserscape, because sometimes when you DX, the RDS can help you ID or identify a station. And, you know, sometimes it's fun. You're listening to a music station and it tells you what song is playing, stuff like that. It, it has its utility. It has, its, uh, it has something going for it, uh, you know, weather, stuff like that. Uh, when the stations use it well, it's, it's worth it. So 
So what else do we have? <clears throat> Let me just go down. Jeff King, the hybrid set up on PL990 is the same as the PL880, and it doesn't mute. PL880 also has the same. So uh, I want to add to this because um, I was reading a very nice blog post on, I believe, shortwave listening. So what this is um, is basically an upgraded PL880. They've done some changes. They've uh, tweaked the circuit. They've upgraded the circuit board. They've done some change, basic changes to it, added that uh, SD card reading. So it's we can say it's a PL880 version 2, uh, basically, from what I understand yesterday. Uh, really, really is nice. So uh, pretty, pretty cool. ADAX Fire 74, no problem. And uh, look for the look at the channel. There's going to be a lot of videos. I think I'm going to flood the shortwave channel with VL990X videos in the next week. <laughs> so, hey, Bill. Yep. Nice to have you here. Um, Danute B. So, uh, FM goes, uh, depending on what you want, it goes all the way down to 64 megahertz. Uh, that's switchable. Uh, the other thing that's very nice is the bandwidths. So, when you tune shortwave when you tune any band you have access to different size of of bandwidths so um, there's a bandwidth the bandwidth button here uh, depending on what you are tuning so 2.3 that's for AM mode it goes all the way to six kilohertz bandwidth uh, in single sideband you have different bandwidths that go down up to 500 Hertz. This is very useful when you want to narrow down um, the signals you're listening to uh, and avoid interference. Of course, there's tons of memory channels in here. I haven't tried much the sync because it has synchronous detection. From what I read a lot, the PL880 synchronous detector is not very good uh, from a lot of accounts. My Texan PL680 here has excellent sync detection. This is going to be the one that's going to compare with the Texan PL990X in order to see if sync works well. So that's going to be a definite test from that side because that's going to be the, 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 the test. I used it just a little bit to see if it worked. It locked down, it locked on most signals that I was listening to last night, but Last night, my first eight hours with it was mostly, can it get what I want to hear? And does it get it well? And does it do it well? And um, how easy is it to tune around? How pleasant is it to use? So that was my first eight hours. I didn't look at the manual, didn't look at nothing to see what other functionalities I could have out of it or not. That was not what I wanted yesterday to do. Hey, David in Barcelona. Nice to have you on board. Uh, what else do we have? Anybody else? La, la, la. If I miss your name, by the way, just say hi again. So that's what we're not sure, Crazy Jane. We speculate that maybe the SD card can be used for firmware updates also. Mad Reader DX, sir. Long wave, medium wave can properly accept external antenna. Can be great for medium wave outdoor. Yes. It, uh, it that is a great thing. Uh, good question. When it's on its stand, it is. Let me just put it here in front of me. The antenna is slightly angled. Uh, it's slightly angled. It's maybe like this. It's not straight. It's really like a little bit. There's a little angle on it because. 
of the plastic here it uh it can't really come totally up because the antenna here inside it does not pull out uh it just stays at a little angle so yeah there's an angle no it's not straight up <laughs> kevin says uh <laughs> i don't think she is getting visit from texan assassins <laughs> so yeah on their long wire all of that so it's really, really amazing. I have to say that, uh, man, I am, uh, I am right now excited. Yeah, mine, uh, Life 2, my 680 is also a kilohertz. It's about a kilohertz and a half, actually, uh, from what I noticed uh, when I'm listening. Um, Nick Mayakovsky, let's have you here. PL-8080 is a lot of undocumented features. Maybe this one. This one also has a lot. Actually, a non-co is nice. To do so, uh, they sent me a chart in PDF for the hidden features of the radio and how to activate them. For example, there's Bluetooth. This can play Bluetooth audio. You want to listen to your phone's audio in here? One of the hidden features is you can activate the Bluetooth, which means that you'll be able to listen to the audio in here. So if you have something that sends out audio and can connect to a Bluetooth device. This has Bluetooth. Um, so th it's one of those features that is actually uh, possible. And uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> nope, no update of firmware or anything on the 680. From what I know, it uh, the there's no... The way so what happened? Okay, let's let's back off here. So you say, is there an updated firmware in six eighty? From what I know, the six eighty has a revision that did bring the capability. So some six eighties do have the capability. My I, mine is one of the first ones that came out. I bought it in the first few months that it was of uh, released. So I got one that does not have frequency calibration in the menus. Apparently, after a um, apparently after a certain time, they issued an uh, updated one that was possible to um, calibrate the display. Canadian Radio TV guy says I'm <laughs> he's tempted now. So because of me, some of you will be spending more money. So let me just, uh, okay, I'm going to put antenna out. I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to, without <coughs> breaking the radio, get the uh, antenna. So this is very, very minimal setup here, but uh, we're going to, there we go. So here, keep in mind that this is very non-technical the way I did it right now. So uh, if there's some problems, it'll be the wire, not the radio itself. And let me just try to put this here so that it can maybe hold. So this is my W6 LVP loop that I am entering in here. I immediately see a difference. Let's see if I get WWV. Let's see if I get WWV right now. So, nothing on WWV. Well, signals seem to be crappy. Let me check out here. I want to check out. That's the best test here. Yeah, no WWV on the SDR either. Propagation looks crappy. Wow, even CHU3330 isn't very good. I get it here, but it's very, very... But even there, it's not very good. It's usually so much more, so much better than that. Uh, let's see if I can get a signal of something. What time is it right now? 21. Let's try 9395. One of the WRMI frequencies. Okay, I've got... 
Okay, Greece is coming in well. And four two zero. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. Not too much because there's music. So that's voice of Greece. You see how clear it comes in? Ninety four twenty kilohertz. So um, pretty, uh, pretty cool. So uh, funky town playing on WRMI nine four five five. So that's uh, funky town. Very short funky town. To make sure I don't get no monetization. Nine four five five WRMI. Radio Marti, 9565, Radio Marti. So you could see that it picks up. Radio Exterior de España, 9690 kilohertz, to, to show you guys. 9690 kilohertz. So, uh, just to do a little test, let's remove that. Let's extend the telescopic and see if with the internal antenna. So, look at that. Using telescopic inside my room here. So it gives an idea that uh, even with its telescopic, which is, by the way, longer than usual for portable. It's a very long telescopic, so if you, sh if you close it down, Make sure not to take it from the top. You're going to break it. Uh, it's very important to understand that. But it's a much longer telescopic than the other portables I've got here. So it gives you an idea, guys, of what it is. So let's put the uh, antenna back. There we go. I'm going to try some, uh, some single sideband stuff also. But you guys could see that... Uh, Performs really well, really, really well. So 235 uh, US, but it did come to 370 Canadian. Uh, if you get free shipping, uh, you'll get you'll get fifty dollars off. It'll be at 320 Canadian, roughly. Roughly. Uh, very surprised, but maybe not because maybe it's going to come later. I uh, usually when I receive an expensive radio like this, I have to. Pay the taxes, Canadian taxes. Uh, I didn't have anything to pay, but that doesn't mean I have nothing to pay. I am expecting that in the next week or two, I might get a letter that says, hey, I owe those taxes to uh, to pay. So uh, we'll see. Uh, remote Radio DX Man, the uneven fine-tuned uh, issue makes it very hard to listen to AM stations in single sideband on the XH data. And it's worse if you try to DX. Uh, anyway, because the noise floor seems higher in a single sideband mode. Well, one thing for sure is that the that that uh, that fine-tune issue is a problem, absolutely, when it's not always uh, when it's not always uh, equal. Um, 
Take care, uh, Peter Murph. Uh, not Peter Murph. Where? Who, who says bye? Oh, uh, Kadarius. Take care, Kadarius. So, uh, really, really nice. So it's more expensive, but I have to say, it's more expensive, but I have to say that it is surprisingly, surprisingly good. So apparently, I'm on 5145. So I don't know if I can hear myself. But uh, 5145 upper sideband, thanks to uh, Seco Radio. And I hear myself very faintly. Let's see if I can catch it here on this good old, good new receiver. And here we go. Will I hear myself on my portable receiver? I'm not sure I hear myself, but uh, I barely hear myself there, barely, barely in the noise. Oh, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it very, very faintly on the on the uh, on the Texan when I talk. I can hear myself very, very faintly. One, two, three. Yeah, I definitely can hear myself. But it's very, very faint, like it is there. It may be a little better on the SDR play, but I can hear myself. It's very faint, but it's there. So it's kind of nice, kind of nice. Let's check out uh, Yander Radio. So this is Gander Radio, Newfoundland, Canada, weather, 6604. So you see I told you I was off by 80 hertz, so I'm at 08. But it's always correct. So when I'm at 08, I'm at pretty much zero beat for a single sideband. So if I tune any other single sideband signal, I know that the offset of 08 is always precise. It's always precise. So that's the cool thing about this. Um, that's really, really cool because it makes it very, very precise. Um, yeah, some other I, I know some will do that. I don't have the 880, unfortunately. So um, that's kind of interesting. So, um, what else do we have? Yeah, I'll be uh, looking at the, uh, I'll be testing the synchronous detector a little more. Sicko Radio's got an old Radio Shack DX398. These are nice. These are a nice radio, honestly. What else do we have? Brian Waller. Nice to have you here. So uh, 5145, I'm hearing it faintly, but I'm hearing it there on 5145 upper sideband. Uh, let me check if I can compare in some way. Uh, let me check it out here. Um, things like that. Oops. Different elements. Sorry. Okay, let's do... I'm going to try something. I'll have to switch, but uh, let's see here. So I got shortwave. I'll punch in the weather radio frequency that I'm listening to. And so 6604 upper sideband. So let me just take it there. So this is, we're going to see here the bandwidth. So 2.2, I'll use the same bandwidth here, 2.3. So this is XH data right now. At 
Edmonton, Edmonton, valid from the 26th. Which does a very decent job. Zero, zero, Zulu, until the 26th at 1800 Zulu. So, of course, that's tuning the uh, 6604 frequency to see here. Now, if I use that same antenna, go back here. Same bandwidth, 2.2 or 2.3 kilohertz. Zero, 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 wind three, zero, zero degrees, one, two knots, Let's try it again here. Nothing scientific in here, but it works. In my opinion, the Texan 990X sounds better and gets it a little better. So that's a quick uh, switch between one and the other. Quick switch between one and the other. The uh, PL990X seems a little better, uh, honestly. Crossley Fiverr, nice to have you here from El Paso. Uh, Kevin says, uh, also, I had so much fun with this radio last night. I was uh, dragging ass at work today. Looking forward to your sync review. Hope you do a tutorial. I will. Um, I um, want to say one thing. Is it's been a long, you know. I mean, when I got my XH data, I was somewhat kind of, you know, oh wow, you know. But I'm. It. I think it's the first time in a very long, very long time since I am excited over a radio like I was and I am with the 990X. Uh, brings back the good old days when I would get a radio and just, you know, can't wait to, to, to just, like, use it and, and test it out. Um, that's, that's really, really uh, nice. So, um, yeah, this is an audio cable, and it's a, it's a, a, a crappy audio cable at it, so it's not the best cable to 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 have a decent connection but it's uh it's a temporary connection um it's a temporary connection to the uh to the uh, w6lvp loop outside under the balcony uh it, it works uh what else do we have <clears throat> What else do we have? So, yeah, 5145 upper sideband. I am there. The audio is great. I love the audio of the radio. It is really, really nice. Voice of Greece on the SDR is pretty good, too. It was very strong. It was very, very strong. Mickey Delmage, nice to have you here. KS7 at uh, my latitude. Yeah, that uh, really shortwave seems to be quite uh, crappy right now when I look at uh, some of the, the frequencies. Mike, WDX50, nice to have you on board. From Northwest Arkansas. Thomas Olson, the 990X has a line out. And it has a line out with uh, the level you can actually control in the menus. You can control what uh, is um, what is uh, the level of the line out, and you can actually, uh, from what I've read, that USB connector is not just for charging the batteries. The USB connector is also capable of you plug your PC in there. 
you'll have the audio, the PC of your uh, your uh, your uh, the audio of your PC, and the PL nine nine zero X speaker actually. So it kind of an, a, an audio player, even for a PC. So this could be nice if you have a, you know, like a crappy laptop that has like really bad audio on it. You could use technically the Texan uh, receiver's audio uh, speaker for the audio. So that could be nice. Uh, one of the things, the uh, all connectors come with a very little plastic uh thing to that you can cover them with so if you look at the side you see that two of them are here you remove those little uh, plastic or um, rubber uh, stops to have access to the connector so here it is you see the green connector and you could put it back in if you want to make sure that no dust gets inside the receiver now, getting them back in is a experience in itself. And I'm pretty sure that once I take them out once, I probably will not put them back in. But anyways, uh, so there's a tone control on the side here. There's, of course, the bandwidth settings. You've got the tuning knob. You've got the fine tuning knob. And you got the volume knob on that side. On the front buttons, uh, you have, of course, the on-off switch for the light or the display, so it can stay on all the time. That I love. I hate radios that does not give you the capability of having the light on all the time. Um, you have the buttons for the music player at the top, forward, play, forward, and back buttons. So when you put the uh, when you have MP3s and you listen to that, in for example, on the SD card that you insert in the bottom here. You have that uh, on the right, on the left side. Sorry, you have the uh, on/off for external or internal antennas. So right now it's at external because I'm using the wire, but if I switch it back up, it uses the telescopic again or the internal um, uh, antennas. And what's really nice is that once again, if you're a medium wave DXer, when you switch off the internal antennas, it switches off the ferrite and lets you use an external antenna for medium wave and long wave. You have a DX normal and local switch for the sensitivity if it overloads uh, also. Of course, headphone jack for listening through headphones with stereo. Um, so it's really nice. Now, I will not talk about battery life because the batteries I have are crappy batteries. I used my own battery last night. And it played for eight hours and a half before it told me the battery was dead. Now, I will not take that as a official time because they are crappy Chinese-made lithium-ion uh, 18650. I will actually take that and test it with Texans' own batteries. That seems much better. And with those, I will actually give the, the battery life of the receiver. So, uh, you know, I'm, I am extremely happy uh, for this radio right now. Hey, the reporter of the week. Nice to have you here. Uh, 9955 isn't always coming in. Oh, right now it's the Cuban jamming that I hear. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Report of the Week. Here we go. There's a lot of Cuban jamming over it, though. I'm hearing more of the Cuban jamming than anything else. Same thing on the SDR. You're being jammed by Cuba, reported a week. But I can definitely hear that it's you uh, playing right now, 9955. 
Cooler. There's a song you want to hear. You can send in a music request, and I'll try to uh, get a song played for you. But feel free to write in. It would be great to hear from you. You can contact the show and uh, do just that by emailing me at v o r w i n f o Considering that WRMI and 9955 actually broadcasts away from me, uh, it's kind of nice that I can actually hear it. So uh, here you are. So uh, 9955, but a lot of the Cuban jamming on it. So uh, welcome aboard, my friend. Sheldon, yes, a huge audience, absolutely. Good reason to promo. Yes, absolutely. It's time to do so. Uh, promote the uh, Canadian International DX Club. Absolutely. And uh, if you want a sample copy, I have a uh, uh, the utility column in there, CIDXClub at yahoo.com, if you want to have a sample copy. And it's a nice bulletin. You can get it your, in your email every month. Understand the times. Take care. KC8KSK. And uh, stay safe. Uh, any idea how the sensitivity compares to the PL660? Uh, not yet, but that's going to come this week. Okay. I'm going to be comparing both correctly and really well and, and come with a, there'll be an answer for that. James Oppenheim. Um, I don't know because I don't have an 880, but uh, from those that have an 880 and a 990, um, they seem to say the 880 is a little better. Kamexi 76, sometimes you have to spoil yourself and get a more expensive radio for all those quality features. I am uh, drinking a uh, Rickards White uh, beer, uh, Garrett McClure. Hey, Radioactive. Nice to have you on board. <clears throat> what else do we have? <laughs> Send yourself a QSL. <laughs> By the way, everybody that uh, sends me a report even today, uh, you will get my EQSL. I'll be taking care of the EQSL during the, uh, during the weekend. Yep, S uh, single sideman is a pleasure to tune. Sounds great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Ingmar Klenhart, uh, on the 990, it is great. I've been enjoying, uh, listening to, um, listening to single sideman signals. I listened to many amateur radio operators yesterday. I was listening to 160 meter band, actually. I was listening to hams on 1850 and, uh, 19, I think it was 1902 lower sideband. Um, I was listening to, um, all the standard signals uh, that I, I try, uh, for example, uh, I don't know with the bad conditions if they're going to come in, but let's try it out here. 550. Yep, it is. So here's uh, Shannon Volmet. Shannon Volmet, the station that gives the weather out of uh, Shannon, Ireland. Let's try the Royal Air Force One. Yeah. This is the Royal Air Force One from the UK. Once again, to show you how precise it is, I told you the offset for me was uh, 08. Look, I'm tuning everything at 08, and it sounds the natural voice of that station. So this is uh, Shannon Volmet. And you, uh, there was Shannon Volmet first. This one is Royal Air Force UK um, weather. 
Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? Hey, DRAF, nice to have you here. So, uh, sicko radio. This is cool swapping radios. Let's uh, try it. Look at what we're going to do. I'm going to... The PL680 has pretty good audio also. Let's... Uh... Let's try this also. I'll do five, four, five, zero. Upper side band. Let's swap between. So this is PL680 with 5450 kilohertz, Royal Air Force in the UK. My volume is maxed. That's a problem of the PL680. Single sideband isn't, a volume isn't full. Now let's try it with so that is much better. Thanks to the audio level. So uh, for single sideband, it beats it beats the PL six eighty. That that's for sure. Um, if we tune in, let me check here. Um, let's tune Spain. Let's do in Spain on ninety six ninety on boat. So here ninety six ninety one because it's off frequency a little bit and. Sostenible y renovable. Síguenos en Twitter. Arroba sostenible guión bajo RN. So that's, uh, it's pretty nice. And that is... Científicos, ingenieros y mentores, con mucha ilusión y poco presupuesto, se empeñaron en el desarrollo de lo que hoy conocemos como energías renovables. That isn't bad, though. At the level of audio, I'd say that the uh, PL, just right now listening to this here, the PL990X has an edge on the audio quality. Uh, over the 680, but the 680 isn't bad at all. La información que atesora en un modesto archivo. Pero todo tiene su explicación. Eh, Eduardo, todo esto surge porque hace 150 años la dependencia del carbón era muy grande. Era grande, sí. So let's try it out again here and see. Se transporta con mucha más facilidad que por mar que por tierra y entonces eso hizo que en España, pues... Por ejemplo, el carbón, que es una cosa poco conocida, venía durante todo el siglo XIX de Inglaterra, porque era más barato hacer eso que no traérselo en camiones desde las minas de Asturias hasta el mar. Entonces había muchas dificultades para el suministro de carbón en muchísimos sitios donde no había minas cercas. El eso... audio del PL990X es un poco mejor, pero puedo decir que este fue bastante bueno, honestamente. 
PL680. So you guys, it gives you an idea, you know. But it's definitely much better uh, on uh, much better on single sideband than the PL680. Um, audio quality in single sideband is better, and, and, and it helps make it more pleasant to listen to. So, uh, you know, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, HF, you know, there's there's the very uh, variations of HF propagation, even while you do the, the compare thing. Uh, that's for sure. That's for sure. DRF, my 990X came yesterday. I agree, it is surprisingly good. I've been using it along with my PL880, and I find it to be more sensitive on shortwave and medium wave. SSB is greatly improved over the 880. So it's really an improvement. Um, can you talk about the audio quality, uh, DRAF? How about the audio quality of both? So, uh, Caesar 11650. Um, let's see if I hear something here. I've got nothing right now, but it was probably earlier. Paul in Vancouver, BC. Nice to have you here. DRAF, I noticed the 08 on SSB fine tune as well. To me, it sounds better than the 880. The speaker seems more suited to sort of short wave, medium wave. I feel the same. I'm excited over a 990X. Okay, so you have the same 08, or so 80 hertz off. Well, the good news is that once I go into the menus more, uh, I will be, I will be um, uh, fine tuning it to get to 00. zero. So, uh, Sheldon Harvey, World Christian Radio Madagascar. So that's on 11610 right now. Uh, Chester Johnson got a 660. Not all impressed with that model. It's a pretty good model, usually, the 660. Thomas Lane in Grand Rapids, Michigan. No, you can record on the uh, SD card. And there is a line out. Yes. Jerry DX. <laughs> and a radio TV guy. I think I'm radio aroused. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> radio arousal. <laughs> Uh, Garrett Blaney, what type of connector is there for external aerial and is Bluetooth just out or in? So, uh, Bluetooth, I believe, is just uh, for the audio sent to the radio, uh, not the other way around. And for the external antenna, it's a standard, like a lot of portables, a 3.5 millimeter. Uh, it's like the you know, ear headphone jack of, of uh, an old phone. Kamal Zoro, nice to have you here. Thank you very much. So um, they uh, seem to be metal knobs. Yes, they are metal knobs. Sickle radio, one change or a hack. Put a piece of tape over the SD card slot to keep dirt and water out. Yeah. Uh, Brian Waller says that the 660 and eight and have the 880 like them both a lot, but uh, not gonna upgrade till they put a waterfall on the screen. Yeah, that's that's another story. <laughs> uh, Sean Harvey has Radio Saudi Arabia on 11820. Report of the week, no problem. Happy to do it, and uh, I'm still getting it good despite the uh, jamming. Sometimes the jamming takes over, sometimes not. 
Yeah, I think they're jamming 9955 pretty much all the time, Report of the Week. They're kind of jamming it all the time. What else do we have? Let's try to get band down the... Uh... Matt, only about two seconds delay comparing my reception of 9955. So uh, not bad. Two seconds isn't bad at all. Uh, that I don't know. Um, we would need somebody that has the, the S8800. So um, the uh, one of the blog posts I read about the review uh, mentioned that the uh, S880, he was not comparing it because it is a, and, and it's a, a separate class of receiver. Paul, what's the best starter radio you recommend? Depends on how much money you want to spend. Uh, if you start out with a Texan PL380 or a Radio R108, great little starter radios. Uh, Texan PL660, XH Data D808 are great. Uh, higher end uh, with SSB radio or mid range, I would say. Uh, MR18LT. Thank you very much, uh, VM2FOMG, as I have you here. Um, yeah, that 6 megahertz uh, frequency of uh, Radio of Annie Cuba is really bad, really bad. VK2, okay. I was, one, I was wondering. So welcome aboard, my friend. Um, yeah, well, the Shady Power 90, that was when I was actually doing the Cuban... <laughs> audio hey John nice to have you here yes absolutely a brand new beautiful and fantastic PL99X 990X receiver and uh, really really cool Kevin 9955 crystal clear over there the D990X and the real antenna cool Thomas Lane nice to have you on board and thank you very much um, Thomas Lane, problem with the 880 is the battery you need to use. I find it cumbersome and expensive to replace. Yeah, it depends where you buy them. Um, you know, I understand why they take the 18650 lithium ion batteries, uh, you know, for the space that it takes and the amount of energy that it gives. You know, you don't have to because you'd have to have at least three AA in there to give it power. Um, I still will rant a little bit about it because, you know, if you're camping or anything, um, and, you know, and you need a battery, <laughs> you won't find an 18650 at a corner store, you know, um, but you find AA batteries everywhere. That said, um, you know, I've actually, I got like about 20 18650s here now. So it isn't too bad as long as you just remember to bring them along with you when you go somewhere. Um, Garrett Blaney says, cool signal from Shannon. I'm here in Dublin, just down the road. Cool. It's always, it's always kind of cool. It's always cool to, um, to hear a signal from, you know, where we live, where we live and, and, and in another country. Hey, Brian Penny. Nice to have you here from the Adirondack Mountains of New York. Uh, what else do we have? Jerry says, you're getting 5505, 5450 better than me in Northern Ireland. Yeah, I'm probably propagating over you. Yeah, well, WWCR tries to... to 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 make sure that they keep their backs in uh, in uh, in check to make sure nobody puts you know weird programming up there. Um, Arthur's other crafters kitchen. Nice to have you on board, and uh, thank you very much. And thanks for all of those, once again, that have donated to help me get this PL990. It is much appreciated. Without you guys, I probably would not have one, and 
I'm darn happy with my 990X right now. It is something, you know, I was thinking today I had a few things to do. I had this here. I can tell you one thing. One of the things I was looking forward also is to learn more about it, read more about it, um, and and um, use it a lot tonight. Um, really a lot of fun. Once again, those that join later, uh, 990X comes with a, a real little reel in external antenna. It comes with earbuds with extra cushions. It comes with a charging cable that also apparently can take the audio of your PC and push into the radio. It comes with not one, but two rechargeable 18650 batteries and a surprisingly heavy charging block with two USB ports on it. It also comes with operating manual, 30 page operating manual. And it's really cool. Quick start guide. Which on the other side is an amateur radio world map with all the amateur radio prefix. So, uh, for the wonderful price on Anonco of 235 US dollars. Take care, Rani Charbonnier. No, uh, go go Gordy. Don't don't look at the title. I I, I messed up the title because of uh, another thing that I was doing today, uh, which is recording a show that plays on Sunday. So that and instead of Texan, it says Tekken. It's Texan. I'll be uh, I'll fix that after the show is ended to uh, modify the title. David says, yeah, the PL680 doesn't seem to sound too bad, but I hear way more treble and clarity on the 990, at least here. Yeah, the the 680 is a little um, a little bassy, maybe missing out on some of the higher frequencies, where the 990X actually does have uh, better, um, better audio quality in it, for sure. Your uh, Tivdio V115 finally died. By the way, for those that wants to um, to have audio recording, they sell a kit in a plastic uh, in a, a, a a plastic case that's a little more expensive the, for the Texan PL 990X. It's I think 275 instead of 235. Adds extra stuff, including uh, including a um, recorder that you can use to record. Hey, Max, that's strong. Nice to have you here. And this is Radio Exterior de España in... Radio Exterior de España. English Language Service. So this is Spain in English. 9690 kilohertz coming in very well. As usual on the 990X. And let's check it out for the other one. And Voice of Turkey on 9830 kilohertz. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Today is Friday, 25th day of September 2020. 
This is the Voice of Turkey and you're listening to the news. India registered 86,052 fresh cases of coronavirus. That's on 98.30 kilohertz. So uh, Spain and Turkey coming in very well. Hey, Cooley Ham Radio Shortwave. Nice to have you here, Andre. Uh, Dave Johansson. So 235 US dollars on Anonco website. Kisha Escape. You can get a affordable USB solar panel that will charge your 18650. Yeah, yeah. KSH 5264. It's an amazing. Uh, it's 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 the Sony CRF 320 is some amazing piece of equipment. Uh, I don't know how well it performs, but amazing piece of equipment. TVD Xer, we oui, va bien. Nice to have you here, my friend. From the Xer, Jill, great info on the N990X. I have a good feel now for its capabilities and performance. I have to make dinner. So take care. 73. Stay safe. Stay safe. So, um, oh, yeah, yeah, it will. Uh, don't worry, uh, Cool AM. I will have uh, review compared and all sorts of things uh, that will be posted on, um, on, uh, uh, I'll, I'll check all of that. I, um, I'll see if, um, also maybe kind of do something um, and, and have it like up on maybe shortwave listening.com website or something. So uh, take care. Have a good night, Ricardo Silva. I'm extremely happy with the 990X. It is an amazing, an amazing uh, receiver. Shanghai, nice to have you here. 7310, let's try it out. Radio Romania. So this is not as strong, but this is for Europe and not for North America. So uh, this is uh, this is uh, really really uh, I am extremely happy right now, uh, honestly. So that will be the test that I will be doing. Does uh, sync work well? For example, check it out here. Sync. So I'm using sync on the Radio Romania signal. Well, there's a little lock on the display that says when it locks to a signal. Uh, seems to have a little hard time on the sync capability. That could be its downside. Let's try something here. And let's put it on sync on this one. So 7310 to 11. Let me try the sync of... Okay, this is 7310 Radio Romania with the uh, synchronous detector on the PL680. Of 2020, given that we have obtained from all the member states an agreement regarding.
Once again, proving to itself that the 680 synchronous detector is amazingly good. But now, sync detection on the PL990X. It kind of distorts a little bit. So the sync detector might not be up to par with my 680. So that's an interesting observation here. Take care, Sheldon. It's nice to have you on board as usual. Have a good weekend, too. And, of course, everybody has to listen to our show. A special edition this Sunday, by the way. So uh, hope that you uh, enjoy that. Chrissy Freitas, Radio Exterior Hispania, coming in well on 96.90 in Nashville. Matt, all I have on 98.30 is that RTTY signal or whatever that utility is. What, for the Texan PL990? That should not be at that price. It's 235 US dollars from Anonka. Shitty Pyro 90, 98, 30, Voice of Turkey coming in good. That one weird kid, you should purchase Midland weather radios. I have one here. I have a, uh, I have a uh, Midland or Uniden or Midland weather radio here. Well, let's try 5145 again, see if I can. Uh, I'm just going to remove myself from the sink. That sounds weird saying like that. I'll remove myself from the sink. What were you doing in the sink? Yeah, sink is definitely. Uh... Okay, here I locked myself. What did I do? I like myself. I like myself. I like myself. Who the hell's a lock? So, you know what? The sync detection doesn't seem to be that great. So, that could be its downfall. The radio itself is great, but the 680 sync capability sounded much better. So that could be its downfall. Oh, yeah, we'll try to do that. This weekend is supposed to be really nice. I am going to... Uh, I am going to... Uh, um, definitely go to the park uh, and, and do a few videos uh, where the noise is lower with the telescopic antenna extended and so on. So... Um, This is definitely, uh, so let me just unlock it. Let's try 5145. And so, do I hear myself? Do I hear myself? Let me just put myself in upper sideband and see if I can hear myself. On the uh, 5145 upper sideband. Not sure if I can hear anything, but uh, if it's there. Yeah, I, I think I hear it really weak. I hear it really weak. Joe Tyson will still have to pick up a 990X. Yeah, well, the sync detector on the 680 has always been one of the best I've ever seen. So, um, it's really nice. Max Estrong, what do you love about the 990X? Uh, everything, <laughs> except the sync detector. Uh, it's well built, well, the way that the, the tuning is, is nice. Uh, I am, um, I'm very, very happy with it. And, um, 
just overall um, uh, use is, is nice. There's a single sideband tuning is precise. It's, it does it well, and it's, the sound quality is great. External antenna unplugs every antenna inside, so even medium wave has external antenna. So um, it's really, really cool. I hear myself. I can hear myself in the uh, in the in the PL nine nine zero X right now on five one four five, but it's not very strong. Matt six sixty six eighty are known for their sync. The eight eighty was known to have a poor sync. In fact, I believe it was hidden. Disappointing, but not surprising that the nine nine zero X doesn't beat the older models. Yeah, that's the bad part. So this is kind of uh, this is kind of nice. This is kind of nice. So, um, <laughs> shortwave radio addiction. The PL the PL nine nine zero is beautiful. Now we want the H five zero one. Oh man! What else do we have? But uh, sync. If I do, uh, let me just go back here. I'll go back to seventy three ten. Go back to sync. Yeah, it definitely has, uh, suffers from a uh, sync detection that will not be very useful, I think. At Reader DXer, PL 990 is based on the 880, then no surprise, sync detector is not that good. Found it weak on my 880. So the bandwidth filters uh, for AM are 6, 5, 3.5, 2.3, and for sideband, they are 500 hertz, 1.2, 2.3, Four kilohertz. So that's what I see here. And let me try something here for a second. I'll put this thing back. Oops. Okay. Uh, no, definitely, a uh, sync detector definitely has a hard time keeping the lock. Uh, that's for sure. Joe Tyson can justify getting a 990X since I didn't get a 660, 680, C-Crane Skywave, or XH data. Well, that will be a great one. So, um, you know. Yeah, but uh, I don't care about airband on a shortwave radio, honestly, uh, Dr. Sissa. Uh, that's something I don't, I, I never use. Um, I got scanner radios for that, that do a million times better than any shortwave portable on the airband. Uh, of course, it could be a, uh, 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 something that makes you decide. Somebody that doesn't have a scanner but still wants to listen to a local airport. Uh, it could be a deal breaker, that's for sure. It depends. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, RDS, it's sad, but once again, the display is not kind of a dot matrix, probably. So it probably isn't capable of doing that compared to uh, like the XH data and so on. It would have been nice to have feature, uh, but I'm not a, you know, I almost don't listen to FM. So it's not that I'm going to miss it that much. Uh, MP3 does not record. That would have been fun to have, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I still think it's a great radio. Um, single sideband tuning is great. It doesn't mute when you tune around. This is a, this is definitely a plus. I mean, just the fact that you know you tune around. 
And I'm tuning. No muting whatsoever. So when you tune, there's no muting. That is a definitive big plus. Audio quality is great. The bandwidths are fun. Um, always on display is cool. The fact that the antenna, external antenna, is um, switches off the internal antennas. Great. Will I be using the MP3 or the the SD card player? I'm not sure. Uh, quality feel of quality is is good. The buttons feel good. The radio feels good. And like I said, comes with uh, you know accessories. I'll show them once again for the last time. Uh, comes with the uh, real in antenna. Comes with, of course, the USB charging and apparently drives the audio of your PC through the speaker. Comes with um, pretty, what looks like a pretty FT, nice quality adapter for charging with two USB plugs on it. Uh, comes with uh, earbuds that have extra cushions. If you lose your little cushions, so uh, a little pair of earbuds that do look nice. So it's going to be interesting to see the quality of that. Comes with two 18650 rechargeable batteries, lithium-ion. And once again, you have this big chart of features for the PL990X. And on the other side, it is an amateur radio prefix map. So, um, kind of cool. I honestly am extremely happy of this radio. Uh, really, really happy of this radio. Uh, totally. So, what else do we have? <laughs> what else do we have? Andrea DXer for the um, yeah for the AM mode through uh, two point three is the lowest you can get. Um, uh, definitely. Yeah, I believe the I don't remember the XH data might go down to one kilohertz. Kevin says the Texan three thirty looks interesting. Nice that they concentrated on producing a quality product that are for their last shortwave radios. Maybe you as an influencer. Entice Texan to lower the price. Yeah, maybe. I, uh, we could check that out. Trust in P, in my opinion, the PL880 looks a little nicer than the 990 because that's what counts. <laughs> the uh, It's a different look, that's for sure. It is a different look. PL600 is the only radio I have, and that don't mute when you tune. Yeah, it's because it's an analog PLL. That's why it doesn't mute. Joe Tyson have a Texan PL310 for over a year before I discovered I, it was deaf on FM. Mine isn't... Well, I don't know. I need to try it again. But I didn't notice that mine was... Oh, it was defective. Okay, yeah. Well, that, that tells you we don't listen to FM a lot when that happens. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if the H501 has that. So, um, uh, DAB Plus is not here in North America. Not really. There's talk of eventually having HD, but uh, for now, it seems to be. Uh, TVDX, sir, what do you think about uh, upgrading from an ICOM 8500 to 8600? I personally don't see the feel of it uh, because of the um, fact that it, I'm, I'm kind of almost more into the SDR stuff now.
The twist, uh, twisted steel wire work for antenna is good as or better than solid copper. It's same thing. Wire is a wire. Charity X, yep, two thirty five. But I paid. Uh, I wanted to have it real fast, so I paid thirty eight dollars U.S. for expedited shipping with FedEx. So it came up to about three sixty five, three seventy, something like that. Garrett Blaney, have you heard anything about the Texan S9900? Uh, you know what? That one is... I've seen the H501 a few times come up, the uh, 990, and uh, the... Uh, the... Um, 330, but I don't... And I have not seen any news of the Texan S9900 uh, in a long time, which I'm starting to wonder if they didn't just decide not to do it. BT Radio, Paul, nice to have you here. AA1SU from Essex Junction of Vermont. And uh, Silver Flyer 1, got the PL880, but very tempted to get a PL990. What do you think? That's a tough one because I don't have an 880. So it's difficult to assess for me and to know is it better or not. So, you know, um, can you read your TV guy? You should compare the Ethan satellite to the PL990X. So, uh, kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have easy tuning mode, but it has ATS. And I'll be looking into that a little more because there's a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff that I haven't checked into it right now. You know, I played with it for eight hours yesterday, just concentrating on listening to radio. Uh, but I will be playing with all the other features this weekend, that's for sure. And my review is going to come up pretty fast next week, probably. Uh, Jerry DX, yeah, it plays back the audio, but it doesn't record on it. It doesn't record from the radio. Uh, James Johnson, do you get uh, Lagunitas beer up in Canada? I don't know. I have no idea. TVDX or thanks, Joe. I think I need someone to talk me out of it. It depends what you do, what you want, TVDX, honestly. It's a nice radio. The ICOM uh, 8600 is a nice radio. But um, I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, uh, if I had a lot of money, maybe I'd be tempted. But even then, you know, I see how I'm leaving my Icon, my CRD 500 there doing nothing. I'm not really sure. Hey, Thomas Wizardspoon, nice to have you on board, my friend. So, uh, yeah, pretty much. But overall, I love it. Uh, I'm I'm happy and I am extremely uh, happy to have it. It's the first time in a long time since I wasn't excited at the radio, and the overall uh, radio itself, functionalities and everything, I'm extremely happy with it. And um, it's just a shame we had a demonstration that uh, the probably the negative side of the 990X is the sync detection is not very good. For the rest, audio quality, feel of quality, tuning sideband is truly nice because it is very precise and it is much easier than like, you know, an XH data D808 or um, a C-Crane CC Skywave SSB because it's always on notch. So you don't have to play around with the fine tuning every time you tune a different frequency in single sideband. Uh, this is cool. I really like that. Uh, the bandwidths are nice. Uh, they're kind of awkwardly choosed a little bit, but uh, you know, I for what I use of the bandwidths, mostly to avoid interference on each side. Um, kind of happy, honestly. I find this radio is very sensitive, and uh, I'll be testing uh, AM, medium wave, and long wave a little more to see what I can. Uh, um, how how good it actually is or not in there, but uh, right now, 
I'm extremely happy. Extremely happy. Uh, well, I did one a little earlier, uh, Mad Reader DXer, but um, you know, let's uh, let's let's try to tune a little something again here. Uh, so uh, let's go on. Let me read briefly again from the album notes. My goal is to bring the original Spanish music into a new context through improvisation and to make all stylistic dividing lines invisible, says Daniel Garcia. So here's uh, Spain, 9690. Pranks or mischief. He says data. it describes a kind of innocent, naive, unconstrained behavior that we often observe in children as they discover the world. And he says it's a lovely metaphor for what he's trying to do. And if we do the same with the... Uh himself from expectations, letting himself drift, and just observing whether or not something new and interesting emerges. For more information on the eclectic Spanish pianist Daniel Garcia and his projects, you can visit his website at www.danielgarciadiego.com. And we'll leave you now with a track from Travisuras inspired by the music of Miles Davis, who himself... Once again, a single sideband signal. I'll tune uh, Gander Radio 6604. That's right now. So this is tuning Gander Radio 6604. Six miles, two clouds at 7,000. Becoming between 1400 Zulu and 1600 Zulu. Wind two eight zero degrees, one five knots, gusting two five knots. Churchill, Churchill, from two two zero zero Zulu, wind one one zero degrees, one eight knots, gusting two eight knots. Visibility more than. And now let's do the same with the uh, next stage of data. Until 0600 Zulu. I mean, the X-Age data is really, really good also. Light rain, mist, feeling... But tuning around without the fine-tuning that you have to play with all the time makes the Texan better. Wind 060 degrees, 1, 2 knots. From 0600 Zulu... Wind 280 degrees, 10. I mean, it's still an amazing radio. The XH data is still top, my favorite. For the price, it's difficult to beat, honestly. Zero, six, zero, zero, Zulu, until 1800 Zulu. Visibility. It definitely miles. sounds better than the Next PL990X. Feeling 500 Thanks to Richard, the richer audio makes it, it helps a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we got to not forget that the performance might not be that much of a difference. But when you have good audio compared to another radio, that is what can make a difference. Um... What else do we have? Eric Cottrell's got the Icon RCR 8600. I'm very happy with it. I really cannot speak of it compared to the R85. Well, they are very different radios. That's one thing for sure because the 8600 obviously has a lot more features. Uh, the 8500 is a good old analog tabletop. You know? um, Ronald Zakata, nice to have you here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Don't forget, uh, C Crane SSB has the best airband of all of my 40 radios, has that its own separate uh, DSP chip on the airband. So, um, that's something we need to check more. I don't listen much to the airband on, on these receivers. So, uh, yes, I should be paid for the promotion of radios. But then again, without being paid, I can actually see when it's a crappy thing. So. David, KJ4CMY, Joe's like a kid with a new toy. Probably won't be 
going very far for a while unless it is to Perry Island. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in my uh my COVID uh <laughs> my COVID hole. <laughs> Um, TBD Exter has is 8520 years happy with it, but the new features on the 86 Central are tempting. I wish it would have DMR, which is really a big, big problem of being missed, but it's great. What else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, let's go down. Uh, I've not tried a sync detection on medium wave yet. Um, so I, um, I can't really say it seems to be the fast fading of the signal. That is not, that is making the receiver lose its lock. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, that's the, that's what I was saying. I'm at radio DX there. They, they both get it real well, but the audio quality of the 990X makes it better. So, uh, yeah. Need to put it on, uh, need to put it on the uh, Global Tuner. Um, it will at some point. Well, I will be using the sync detector at different occasions. Um, I've seen one review where they were talking about comparing the sync detection of the 880 and the 990X to see if the 990X was better. And the guy came up to the conclusion that it's not as worse as the 880, but not all that it could be. But I will be trying it on different signals, that's for sure. Matt says, oh, yeah, get yourself a de-expedition while weather permits. Yes. You know, there's supposed to be warm this weekend. I, I need to, to find a way to, uh, to do that. Can be AM long wave DX. Uh, you know what? With the fact that the external antenna does use the AM long wave part of the radio does use an external antenna, it could maybe become a very uh it could maybe become a very um a good dx machine but it depends on its performance and that i haven't touched yet much on medium wave and long wave for me is a very difficult thing to test because it uh i don't have a lot of stuff apart from non-directional beacons So, uh, yeah, I was hearing it earlier a little. It was weak, but it was there. Let me try it again. 5145, five. upper sideband. Yeah, I'm hearing myself. It's not very strong, though, but I'm hearing myself. One, two, three. Now it's not making it enough for that. But um, it, I, because there's some feigning going on sometimes. But I can, at times, I can actually hear myself on 5145. And now I'm getting some static. Somebody just started something. I don't know if they're cooking or what. Uh, so it's really nice. Really nice. So, hey, guys, uh, I will be um, saying goodbye for tonight. I, need, I will go be cooking some tacos, beef tacos for supper. And I will, of course, play with my Texan PL990X all evening. So I will be uh, look for videos coming up this weekend and next week. And... Um, I will be uh, I will be uh, posting a lot of videos. An official review is coming up on the channel, and um, I think you're uh, there's going to be a lot. I think you got to see a lot of that radio for sure. So um, thanks everybody for being uh, amazing fans, and um, I will be uh, of course posting a lot more. 
uh, and the next days and the next week. That is for sure. So, uh, yeah, I will always uh, bring the D808. Uh, once again, I will always be test. I will be testing it against the um, PL680 uh, and even the C Crane CC Skywave. But definitely, they will be tested uh, side by side. And by the way, by the way, uh, the fact also that it doesn't mute when it is tuned is a pretty good, a pretty important thing. You tune around and you have no muting on this radio. That that's a big, big thing. Uh, and of course, the audio quality. So thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed my uh, unboxing and review, uh, kind of. And uh, yes, we did break the, uh, what was it, 271? We broke our record tonight for the amount of people watching. So it's kind of cool. And 272? Okay. We're going to try to remember that number. 272, our record. So uh, take care, everybody. Love you all. Stay safe. And uh, I will uh, we'll be back next week with our two regular shows. And don't forget, there's a fantastic Facebook group, official SWL channel, more than 1,200 members right now. So uh, hope you enjoy. Take care, everybody. Bye.